Well, you guys really liked my videos about Lost Cartoon episodes. If you're new here, basically this is a small series of videos where I go over some really messed up stories about Lost episodes. They're all creepy pastas and they're all fictional, but still this is some extremely scary stuff. I have to warn you that this video is pretty scary and it has some dark themes, so if you're scared easily then don't continue watching. If you're brave, then stick around and see how far you can make it into the video without getting as spooked as these spooky scary skeletons. So let's start off with a story called Gregory's Room. Now this isn't too scary, but it's better to do the less creepy story first. So this creepypasta starts off with the narrator telling us he has a cheerful life. One great part about his childhood is watching TV cartoons in the 90s. He had a dream of becoming a cartoon tester, and soon his parents found out. One afternoon they took him to the Nickelodeon headquarters to possibly see what job he can have in the future. The narrator and a few other kids sat in a big room, waiting for someone to enter the room and tell them what to do. Eventually a staff member came out of nowhere and he held a CD for a new cartoon. He told the kids that Nickelodeon was going to make a new series on Nick Jr. and the kids cheered. So this staff member puts a CD in the DVD. DVD player and then leaves the room after saying he'll come back later. The TV went to a static screen and then showed a fireplace burning. We see the whole room and there's no music at all. We then see a chair facing the window towards the night sky. There's a bald head on the chair and it slowly turns as it stares at the camera with a creepy and realistic face. He begins to talk to the viewer and says that this is Gregory and this is his room. He tells the viewer that we will have fun, just the two of us. Gregory kept saying that it was just the two of us, no parents, no police, and then he states that nobody can hear us. There's distorted background music as his face gets closer and closer, and then flames start to appear on the screen. Gregory tells the viewer that he needs love, and then the episode ends with the paralyzed face all over the screen. But no matter what we do, it will just be the two of us, alone in this room. Just me and you, no parents, no police. No one can hear you. Embrace me. I need love. Then the staff member came back in and all the kids were crying uncontrollably at the horrifying sight. This next story is seriously messed up. There's no footage or pictures of this so bear with me as I just use normal pictures from the show. So anyway, this is called the Magic School Bus Original Pilot, which begins with the origin story of the Magic School Bus. It was supposed to be a line of horror stories for kids with three being shown in each episode. This is a similar concept to Goosebumps and it's much different than what the Magic School Bus actually became. In the episode, the school School children were brought onto a school bus which didn't have eyes at the time. The bus turned into a spaceship and they went into space where strange stuff began to happen. Miss Frizzle explains that there's an override lock on the ship so nobody can leave until it has reached its destination. She says that they are hurtling towards the sun and then she jokingly says that she could turn off the airlock and suffocate everyone. She laughs it off and then suggests everyone should go into forced sleep. She says that there are 9 stasis beds but 11 people including herself. Arnold must stay up while everyone goes into stasis sleep, but then he has a weird talk with Miss Frizzle. She says that there were originally 30 students in the class, but 20 of them died. She then says she is going into the upper airlock where there is a separate bed. It'll take 2 years to get back home instead of 6 months like she said earlier, so everyone has to wait longer. Now this is where the story takes an extremely dark turn. Arnold is staying up alone while everyone is asleep, but he doesn't have enough food to survive. We see a montage of time passing and Arnold's looking nervous and hungry. Arnold yells out to Miss Frizzle that she didn't give him enough food, but then she ominously says, Oh, but Arnold, I did. The camera pants towards all the sleeping bodies of the other Magic School Bus students, and then the voice of Miss Frizzle says, Eat them. Arnold soon made the horrible realization that Miss Frizzle hadn't put them into stasis, she euthanized them. After he made this realization, he noticed a scalpel appearing near the door. He took it and cut into Phoebe's belly, slicing her open and eating her lungs and intestines. He peels and eats her skin, then moves on to the face as he slices off her eyebrows and the nose. For the next month, he picks on the remains of Phoebe, but then there's another time lapse and Arnold has begun to hit puberty. He has nibbled on the ears of all the students except his cousin Janet. The scalpel appears again and he decides who to eat next. Carlos is the unfortunate victim and is sliced open. Over time, Arnold keeps eating his fellow students as the days pass and he has nothing else to eat. The episode ends with him slicing his own neck with the scalpel and killing himself. Now since the magic school bus one was so terrifying, I'm going to be ending this video off with one of the funnier lost episodes. And when I say funny, I mean it's so bad it's funny. So if you were scared by the last two, hopefully this final story will lighten the mood a bit. 
It begins with a Cartoon Network intern tripping on the floor and finding a VHS tape. It said Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends unaired episode. This guy took the tape home and played the episode. It started with an intro that looked wrong and completely unfinished. The name of the episode was The Death of Mac and already this seemed odd. Mac runs to Foster's home for imaginary friends and then Blue opens the door. He says in an oddly deep voice, Hi Mac, there's something I need to tell you. Then Mac says in a slightly demonic voice, What do you need to tell me? Blue whispers to Mac, then Blue yells that Mac's life is his and pulls out a gun, shooting Mac in the gut. Somehow Mac is still alive as he says, how could you? And Blue yells, because I can! Shooting Mac again, killing him. The sky turns blood red and then Blue goes around Foster's killing everybody. He sticks a chainsaw on Frankie's stomach which kills her instantly. Blue shouts, sweet dreams Frankie and begins to laugh. Blue transforms into a demon. The episode ends and the credits roll. Outside of the TV, the VCR explodes. Anyway, that's all for this video. Be sure to subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.